Replacing linear bearings can definitely be likened to replacing tires on your car. Uh, you don't expect that your linear bearing is going to fail. You, you, you do your best to make sure that it's not going to fail by doing proper maintenance and lubrication on it. But at some point, that linear bearing still will fail. And if this happens, the cost of a linear bearing is very insignificant to the cost of the machine that's riding on the linear bearing. So by spending a small amount to replace the linear bearing now, you can certainly avoid a large amount of potential failure on your entire machine at, at a later date. Unscheduled downtime for your assembly line can cost up to $10,000 an hour, uh, which is a very reasonable assumption to make. So when you have ability to shut the line down and check your linear bearings, it, it's definitely recommended because you can, you can, the linear bearings can help prevent that unscheduled downtime. One of the reasons why we're looking at this rig is to observe some of the indicators that one might actually notice regarding a failed bearing. And in this particular case, if you listen carefully, you can actually hear the noise of the uh, bearings as it goes through. It's actually rougher. You can actually hear a clicking noise. It's actually causing a stuttering in the movement. And if one were to actually feel the product, you can actually feel the vibrations as it runs back and forth as well. You can look to see if they're actually grooving on the shaft itself. And as well, take a sample off of the surface to look for um, a metal particulates. Now, there are other occasions where none of these signs exist, but you may still have a failure. More often, you'd want to actually monitor the load variation. And one of the things you can do is actually check the vibration. So on here, you can actually see the uh, variation that we have from the load. One of the things you want to do is try to catch your failures early, so that way you can Put, do the preventative maintenance, replace the bearing at the appropriate time before it actually starts affecting your product or your throughput, and in the worst case, actually de cause damage to your machine. So what we're gonna do right now is that we're gonna take out the uh, failed bearing, and uh, what he's gonna do is he's gonna unload the load cell, uh, block off the uh, load plate, and then pull the shaft out, replace the bearing, put in a brand new bearing. So what you'll note is that the sound is of course a lot quieter. You can actually, in touching this rig, you can tell that it's not jumping up and down anymore. You don't feel the vibrations. You don't hear it either. And what we've done is we've gone ahead and sub basically applied the same load that we had on the prior bearing. These bearings are, clearly have seen better days. What we did was we went ahead and replaced them during part of our standard maintenance cycle. You can see from here, you know, the fact that it, the whole bearing is, is actually fairly dry. What lubrication that there is, is actually, that's caked on there, is all, it's discolored. So rather than waiting for any sort of a failure or things like that, you want to definitely maintain this bearing on a regular cycle. But in this case, there was actually no clear manifestation, and it's those hidden uh, failures that are probably going to be worse. Now is the time to think about replacing your linear bearings, taking a look at them, making sure they're lubricated. If there's any sort of, you know, signs of warning signs of failure, uh, it's a good time to think about doing it while you've got your retooling process going on or factory shutdown for the summer. Make sure you've got the stock, make sure your local distributors, uh, you know who they are. If you have any questions, you can certainly contact Thompson directly and we'll be glad to point you to a distributor that can help you find Thompson product. That's why you really do want to do good and proper maintenance and actually get those bad bearings or, or troublesome uh, uh, products replaced. So an early replacement um, will help the longevity of your machine.